Hello guys and welcome back to a super festive Christmassy video. It's nearly Christmas. We are in the month of December now and Christmas is dawning upon us. So it's about time that I decorated the tree and me and Alex get a bit more festive and in the mood for the Christmas holidays. I went shopping for Christmas decorations. This is mine and Alex's first place together. So I wanted to make it super special and for us to have a really lovely Christmas this year, seeing as we're together for the first time properly this year. So I went all out and I got all new decorations, a brand new tree, um, and the kind of things that are kind of investments because I know from my parents that they've had decorations for years and years and years. They're the kind of things that you can kind of buy once and although they might be a bit expensive then, down the line you'll use them every single year. So it's always good to buy really amazing ones that you think that you'll never get bored of and that you'll love forever. The other week I was shopping around Selfridges and I went into their fourth floor in the London store which is their Christmas area and it's absolutely gorgeous and I was totally inspired and I was like yeah this is where I want to get my Christmas decorations from because everything is so beautiful I've had two big deliveries from Selfridges and I'm going to unbox them for you before you wonder, no this video is not sponsored by Selfridges it's just my favourite store the main point of this is just if you see a bauble that you like or some lights that you like Maybe it's inspiration, or maybe it's inspiration if you go to another garden centre and you see something similar, and I want to get something really similar to that. That's the main point of this, inspiration. I'm not telling you to go out to Selfridges and buy all of your decorations from Selfridges, as I know some people will think that. That's not what I'm saying. Anyway, let's get into it. The main event. I decided this year to go for something a little different than I ever have before, and I've gone for a white Christmas tree. So I got this one, so I think it's two metres tall, so it should be a nice size, and it's quite a thin tree as well. But I thought it might be quite different, a bit unusual in the green. I've had green for 26 years, I thought this year I can try white. It's the legs too. Some lights, I got 180 multi-effect warm white LED lights, because I hopefully, these have a few different ways that you can use them. I quite like them when you do the big, the ones where they kind of fade in and out. So we'll see these are Noma lights. 17.9 meters in length. Wow, that's long. <laughs> that's a lot of lights. Okay, hopefully they'll be okay. Just in case I needed a bit more color on the tree, I was worried it was gonna be a little bit bland. I also got some red lights. So these little like cherry red lights that I thought would look quite pretty wrapped around the tree and in there that that's 10 meters no 9.9 .9 meters with eight functions so they should be quite pretty it's come in a fragile box oh glass icicles oh my goodness these are so gorgeous Ooh. oh my god I could actually cry that's the most like festive noise I've ever heard icicles how pretty are they can you just see how pretty that is so pretty okay next up I got this cute little teddy bear in white a little pink bow around its neck I thought that was really really cute what a cutie pie oh this is one of my favorites this is almost like it's a bronzed rose gold bauble and it almost looks a bit like an acorn before you start to wonder what my theme is, I went for white, silver, and with a touch of bronze and rose gold in there. I ordered a stocking, because I wanted to put it up somewhere and maybe to put some little presents in it for me and Alex. Just a really lovely 3D glittery star. Everything's so delicate and beautiful. I didn't realize it'd be so big, I'm so glad it is, because I could potentially put that on the very top of the tree. That's a lovely metal, metal work. Uh, snowflake star with um, little gems inside. I think I'm really going to put that on the top of my tree because I didn't actually buy a topper so that would be perfect. How gorgeous is this? This is like a, a gold, very light white gold and silver star. Uh, di well not obviously diamonds but diamond style things in the middle. I got a unscented candle from a white company just to put inside a candle holder which should be coming soon. Oh, I bought some chevron paper straws because I love having straws in the house. I prefer drinking my drinks out of straws. So I got some more of those. And also we're having a New Year's Eve party, like a YouTuber's New Year's Eve party. So I thought these would be cute for that. 
big black and more like glass style of white in there and you know I'm just gonna go for black white silver tones I got us a lint advent calendar to share because it's my favorite I love lint chocolate I actually don't remember ordering this but I quite like it <laughs> this way round silly me I actually really like it it's paper fan you can hang that up I love things like this so I had to go for it and it was also a little bit more rose gold. I also like the idea of going for more of a wooden theme so I got these little hearts that are dangling from this rope thread. I thought this was adorable and it's just a little tiny stocking for the tree. I've definitely bought too many, too many lights but these can, we can probably put these up in the lounge, just in the lounge somewhere and they're just star shaped lights this time. Oh they're sweet. So quite a nice size of star, little star lights. They will be really lovely. Oh, I loved this when I saw it. This is a, it's almost like a tea light holder, so you can put tea lights underneath it. And obviously it'll cast a light out the side of this. It's got a star on the top. This goes over there. I wonder if there was a bottom. I thought there should have been a bottom to it. So that's lovely. So it's got a little base too. I went for four silver baubles, so silver mirrored baubles. I think the mirrored style are very, they're very Christmassy. I always see people taking pictures in them. I thought they'd be quite sweet. So. Oh, how cute! So this is like a huge glass ball with little white spots in it. And inside are feathers that are almost in paper, like paper feathers. And this is a wall string. That's so unique and totally, totally different. How pretty. I love that. I love how big some of these baubles are. Obviously when you buy online you're not really sure how big the baubles are going to be or how they're going to fit. So quite a few of these are bigger than I anticipated which I quite like though. White, glittery, it almost looks pink in some lights. Well I say, I always say little. For anyone who hates that, I hate it too. When I'm editing I go little, little, lovely, little, lovely, little. And it drives me insane too. Um, I'll try not to, I'll try to edit all of those out. So this is a large bauble in glitter. These are some of my favourites actually. This one is just a glass, it's a glass heart on a string. This is a rose gold trapeze shape pyramid. I mean these are a little bit more expensive because they're obviously a metal and they're a bit unique and a bit alternative but I love the colours. I don't think any Christmas tree is complete without a large snowflake droplet. And this one has a silver uh, gem in the middle. Gorgeous, wow. This is a silver star and it's almost got exploding pieces coming out of it and diamond, diamonds on either side. All these are very delicate. I've gone for a very similar theme here, very delicate pieces. This I was really excited about too. This is a large rose gold candle holder. Again, in this really odd, so it matches, it's the same brand as this is here. That's so gorgeous. This is a white large bauble with silver glitter that's been spiralled around each side. Similar to the white one, this one is a silver bear. You couldn't have a guy, a girl without a little guy. <laughs> Tea. I bought this star holder to put in a little tea light in as a little accessory around the room, a little decoration. It's almost like a frosted glass, almost looks like it's been blasted with snow around the outside. It's got a bit of gold theme. There's also a white heart, which is in a, it's almost like a, it must be like a metal. I like my hearts and stuff. I bought these from, these are from the white company at Selfridges and it's three glass baubles with white silver glitter that's been wrapped around and they're all slightly different shapes. So this one's got the point to the bottom. And then this one is a longer stem. And it's a little robin. Robin or a dove or anything peaceful. Again, this is almost like glass that's been blasted with gold. Oh, I forgot I also bought some wrapping paper that just says joy all over it in white with green and red. I think that's everything in my Christmas decorations haul. This is so fun to film. I've never filmed anything like this before. 
I'm really excited to get dressing the tree now and get festive. We might go get some mulled wine, drink mulled wine and listen to carols and, and Christmas songs while we put up the tree. Thank you so much for watching guys. I really hope this inspired you for maybe a style this year or a theme or particular bauble that you might have really really liked. But let me know down below in the comments. Let me know what kind of theme you're going for this year for your Christmas decorations. Thank you as always for watching. If you're new then be sure to subscribe so you can come back next time and give the video a like and I will see you then. Bye! Mm.